I've seen people coming into the interview in strap tops, um, not ready for that particular interview. That's a bad first impression. And we'd like, you know, we'd, we'd just like for you to remember that even though you're not face to face and in the office with us, you still are being, for lack of a better word, judged on your appearance because image is everything, right? Um, before your interview, we'd like for you, when a link is sent to you, because typically when you are interviewed, you get a link, please don't wait till five minutes before the interview to click on the link and check to see if all your devices work and your, or, um, your mic works and your camera works and all of that. Try to do it before, at least an hour before, because typically uh, recruiters will send it to you the day before and they will ask you to just make sure the link works. If it doesn't work, please reach out immediately to that person so that that person will be able to help you and set up another link because being late for an interview is a no-no. Whether or not you are coming in to sit in front of the person or you're actually sitting at your dining table doing the interview, it is a no-no. So try and be on time as much as you can, all right? If you are going to be tardy, uh, send a message by email or by whatever uh, platform that the person has reached out to communicate with you and advise them that, listen, I'm unable to log on. Can you send another link? Can you walk me through? This is a big uh, bonus in terms of how they look at you and your, uh, what would you call it? Your innovation and your initiative. All right. Um, if you are going to be using a webcam, right? If you're going to be using your camera, which is definitely uh, um, advised, please make sure it's at a flattering angle. Please make sure that you're not seeing um, a lot of chaos in your background. Find a blank wall if you can. Um, if you if it's a Zoom meeting, please try and, and, and use up the backgrounds. Don't make yourself a cat, please. I'm asking you. And don't get yourself stuck being a cat. Um, but try your best to find a flattering angle for that particular interview. It makes a difference, believe me. Um, again, I, at the beginning of this, I told you to not let professionalism slide. Try not to. Be as professional as you can at all times. This is very important because remember, even though you're not sitting in front of that individual, that person is taking notes and that person is the one that is going to be hiring you for that particular position. They have to know your skill set. They have to do all of that. And please do not take away from your skill set by being unprofessional because you could have a master's degree in, 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 in the role that you're trying to interview for. But if your professionalism is below standard, it doesn't matter. They're, you're not going to be hired and you're not going to be considered. For the place. So try always to be professional. All right. Always, always, always wear your interview attire. And I said that before. All right. You know, be aware of your surroundings. I have cats. I have kids. Right. When I'm doing an interview or doing any meeting at all, I try to lock myself away, uh, far away from the distractions and surroundings that are not that are going to be contrary to what you are trying to put forward in that interview. All right. So make sure that you know what's on the walls. Make sure that if you're in a bedroom, it's not messy. Make sure that if you're at your dining table, there's no outside noise. It is very important. I've seen it a lot where I've had to end interviews because the chaos around was insane. And it was taking away from what I was trying to get from the interview and what I was trying to get from the person that I was interviewing. All right. Try and not have any of your pets or your, your children or friends or any noise, TV, radio around because it's a big distraction both for you and the interviewer that's facilitating that particular interview. All right. Uh, conduct a practice interview with a friend. I always like to tell my my uh, candidates to try and, and practice. It may not be the same questions that are being asked. However, try and practice as much as you can. There are on, online, there are lots of interview questions, try and go through as many of them as you can. Sit down and have the person in front of you be serious about the interview, all right? Because it makes a difference. Even myself interviewing for posts, I conduct interviews 
of friends. I sit and I said, all right, this is what they may ask. If they ask this, you know, and my friends will throw stuff in there to just sidetrack me. And I try to remain focused because that is what the interview is about. Just remain focused. Just focus on your skill set, focus on your expertise, and that will take you far away. Believe me. Take it from me. Smile. Please. If you look grumpy, it takes away from the whole interview. It takes away from you as a person. Um, be, don't be too over exuberant, but try and be as, as happy as you can. Smile, be engaging, interact as much as possible, um, as much as your interview will allow. So try and include that in part of your interviewing, your whole interviewing demeanor, so to speak. Um, be certain to look into the camera and not all around as you appear to be distracted. Just try and give as much direct eye contact as you possibly can. Uh, just think of it. Think of it that there's no computer there, there's no tablet there, there's no phone there, and the interviewer is right in front of you. Do exactly what you'd want to do in a face-to-face. -face. All right? Plug in your laptop, your tablet, your phone. Right, these these devices nowadays will fail you at the worst possible time. And worst case scenario, you're there and you're gonna have to say, "Can you give me a minute while I plug in?" No, plug it in. Even if it's at a hundred percent, plug it in just in case you never know. You know, they're smart devices, but most of them not so smart. So try and get yourself plugged in um, to ensure that this that you have your power and you have, this is your interview. This is your, your lifeline, basically. This is what you're going to be doing um, to try and, and secure that job, your dream job, you know, a job that you've wanted forever. So please let us get that done um, and make sure eye contact, silence in the background as much as you can, all right? Enunciate, always speak clearly. Do not eat your words, speak very clearly. Speak as if you're speaking to the president of the United States. Speak, speak as if you're speaking to somebody, your doctor trying to advise of what is happening to you and he's the only person that can help you. Speak clearly, speak with a purpose, all right? Always have a purpose when you're going into that interview. And that is extremely important, always have a purpose. Don't just go in there, oh, well, I need a job, you know, so I'm just gonna, no, no. That is the case, we'll see. We pick, we pick up on those things. All of, all of the seasoned recruiters will tell you, they pick up on these things. And it is a deal breaker when you're pulling information out of the person. It's a deal breaker when you have to be bringing the person back and centering the person, it's a total deal breaker. So just focus, enunciate, and be clear and succinct. Do not go off on a tangent. Try and just say what you what you have to say and get going. All right. And lastly, be aware of the hot mic. Be aware of that. That has been the downfall of many a persons during this pandemic, during this virtual age. As soon as you're finished with your interview, leave interview room. Make sure your mic is off. Make sure your video is off. Leave. All right. Because I have had instances where there are persons that believe that, guess what? I'm off. And some things I've heard. And so as a human being, I really, as, a, as an HR person, I don't want to use it to judge the person. But as a human being, it, 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 it is just going to happen. I'm just going to inadvertently going to use it to judge. And it's a bad thing, but it happens. Um, so please ensure that everything that you do speaks to you, speaks to what you want to portray, all right? Go there, be you. Do not be anybody else. Don't be, don't be the, the, the team lead that you're trying to emulate, be you, all right? Because it can be picked up and it is something that can make or break. All right, so good luck, everybody. And I hope those tips will help a little bit. And if, you know, outsource HR does um, 
little training videos, um, if you'd like, you can reach out to us um, at OutsourceHRJA on Instagram. Um, and we will be happy to help you. We'll happy, we're happy to be the, the, the um, mock recruiter for you um, because we want to see you, we want to see you succeed.